After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Today was. Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck! Before you report to Lieutenant Farron get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Good afternoon, Cadet. What can I do for you? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. 
Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press the X button to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Come. Cadet. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, press and hold the left stick while moving. The last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako Assault Training. The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. I'm not saying phasers are in the lockers by the Holodecks. You can grab one there. Press the left button to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. weapon in combat. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you 
drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Hold the triangle button to holster and draw your weapon. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations! Yes, you should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career. Officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. You'll do great, <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off tow. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment call. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. So Weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me.
bridge number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect at first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Attention number one. Potter, take us out. To sit, press the X button while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Good. What do you advise? Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Some weird readings. I, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chunk. Yourself and any security team members you find. We still have weapons, I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting. This is your character. This is your character. 
Here you can see your equipped items and devices. Select any item slot for your captain. And the equip window will show all available items. That Select the items in the list slot. you wish to equip. You can also view your ship's equipment, as well as the equipment being used by your bridge officers.
Incoming transmission from the Klingons. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chant. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains clumped. You have no hope of finding us, perhaps your captain. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to look onto my combat and fire! Take Target lock, Captain. survived, but the captain, Captain Taggart knew what would happen, and he gave the order anyway. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage. But some are... I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain. But something is jamming all frequencies. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that to... And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Press up to increase your ship's speed. Press down to decrease your ship's speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Looks 
like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ships and press the X button to interact with them. Thanks. We'd help you if we could. But I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that... Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma inject... Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the R2 button to fire energy weapons. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item to automatically loot it. Taking through scraps we've left behind. Yeah. That guy's getting annoying. Plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R if I had to guess. 3.7 leak. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level 1 diagnostic. Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the... You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your plasma beam to weaken shield and targets. Use your torpedo to an enemy when their shield is down. are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. 
I can make your death swift. Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where? And did you follow his orders? So, I take it you are... Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth's space dock. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then.
We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Ah, Captain Volar. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Renown was escorting them back to Earth's space dock. But when we could not raise the Kittimer, I... I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system. And if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. <laughs> You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me a bit of myself when I was an ensign. Of course, I wasn't... Press right on the D-pad to set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Kittimer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. My chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggested performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The Borg!
emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've... The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. The emergency medical hologram may be in command simply because no one else is fit to do it. I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. I have linked the iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. our analysis. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategy. Transwarp signatures detected. Prepare your ship for combat. They're firing. I need help. sensors are already detecting inbound transwarp signatures. The most likely very observant of you, the Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kittimer. We must remain here. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Red alert!
is imperative that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending attack. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Airships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting... Hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet. Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can do- Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain! The Borg are here! Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path! We have to help them!
Captain, I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Renown, sir. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Roger that, Starfleet. Full ships, full back. Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony... Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will... No, sir. I'll follow your lead. ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can put nanopods directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we...
We have the civilians. There is still no sign of the Renown or the Kittimer Center. assimilated me by now. Kit equipped, you'll have new abilities that 